Hi there. Welcome to the Member Spotlight from the Martha's Vineyard Chamber of Commerce. Today, I am happy to spotlight Julian Wise of Island Images. When did you get started in Island Images? And can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. It started about a year ago. And I had the idea of creating a venue for artists, both from the vineyard and around the world, to use their talents to showcase the natural beauty of the island. And so I found artists, several from the locally, but also as far away as Sweden, to create original artwork for the island. And I wanted to make it available in high quality prints at accessible prices for all people. What, how did you determine which artists you would use? I do not have a fine art background. I'm not trained in the visual arts per se, but I'm a consumer of art. And that old cliche about I know what I like. And I simply look for what I consider the best art I could find. And fortunately, uh, the response has been good for people who've seen it. Terrific. Now, you started off as an online business. Yes, but we're but we are actually standing right here in a physical location. Originally, I wanted to avoid a retail location because I was afraid of a burdensome rent, mm -hmm. a decrepit building. I've heard of several stories of literally pipes bursting and inventories being ruined by flooding in several locations around the island. And um, just some of the other headaches that come with retail. So I started online. What I discovered is that I was only able to take it so far, and it was going to take an incredible amount of promotional and advertising push to really raise the visibility. And the truth is there really are benefits to a brick and mortar location. For all the hype about the world going online, and I still will maintain an online presence, but there's something wonderful in a business where customer service and interaction is a big part of it. Uh, there's something really nice about having a physical location. Fortunately, I found, I got in touch with John Blau, uh, who owns the Sharkies and other, the MD Chowder Company in the New Copper Walk. And it turns out he started the Java's Gallery 16 years ago. And he'd simply become too busy with his restaurants to really give the attention he felt it needed. So we were able to really, he passed the autonomy, and I'm continuing it to run it under the Island Images name. Uh, but I think it's been a mutually beneficial arrangement. And I have to say that having a physical location and a good landlord, he's done a beautiful job maintaining the building, and uh, he's just great to work with. I'm really reaping the benefits already with physical location in terms of the credibility it establishes and legitimacy. So what's going to make this gallery unique to any other gallery? Several things. Uh, I, for starters, I really do not come into this with a sharkish competitive mindset. I believe there are tremendous galleries all over the island, and I actually plan to recommend many of them. I'll tell people, like the Allison Shaw Gallery down the street, you've got to see her work. I'll recommend um, Peter Simon's Gallery in Vineyard Haven. Uh, if, I don't see it as much about being competitive as growing the pie. Mm -hmm. That said, what I'm looking to establish here is accessible price points so that whoever, if people want to high-end piece, they'll find it here. But if somebody says, I really just need some decor for my house and I really don't want to be looking at you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars, I want them to be able to walk out with a premier, excellent piece that they'll really cherish for decades at a price that they feel very comfortable with. And in addition to that, I really want to work on uh, every school piece has a story behind it. And I really want to be able to communicate that to people so they feel a connection to the art world. Well, Julian, I appreciate your being our first member spotlight. Thank you, Ellen. I wish you great success. And once again, if you could just tell us where you are located. Yes, this building is at the end of Circuit Avenue. There's the Vineyard Vines building. I'm just the same building right to the side of Vineyard Vines. Terrific. Thank you, Julian. Thank you, Ellen.